Hey what's going on guys, it's the Android Guru here and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I'll give you guys the top 10 best apps for September 2016. And in case you're bored enough with this topic, do me a favor and turn off this video right now. Uh, what? What am I even saying? No, don't turn off. <laughs> Watch this video till the end and give it a like. With that being said, let's get started. The first application on the list is called All-in-One Toolbox. This is by far the best toolbox for Android devices I have ever downloaded for my Android device. Opening the Android or the application up, you can see the RAM, you can see your ROM storage, you can see the temperature. And then down below we have six different options such as clean, boost, toolbox, boot speed up, CPU cooler and file manager. Now going into the toolbox you have a ton of handy features such as batch install, batch uninstall and loads of other plugins which are free to be downloaded. Now boosting your Android device basically cleans up the different types of RAM and you can also speed up the boot time of your Android device by disabling the boot startup of different applications. Now CPU cooler is another handy feature offered by this application that lets you cool down the temperature of your Android device in case it gets too hot. I know right? Now another good feature is the boost which basically lets you boost your Android device and clean up the RAM. Now the file manager is nifty as well and this application is like a all-in-one application for all your toolbox needs for your Android device. You can even clean the different cache or the unneeded files that this application smartly denotes without deleting any important stuff or any useful files which you might be having stored. Now you can also check each of the applications or just clean it. I always hit on the clean button because this application has never deleted anything useful and it's all just the cache and all the cache residual files which are not needed. Now swiping the application to the left you get the same options along with the system info settings which has a lot of options such as showing a notification icon which is again very helpful as it shows a notification icon on your Android device so you can be aware of the different ROM storage and things that you have there are other settings that you can play around with it and overall it is a really well polished and a good balanced application now you can go ahead and be a beta tester and even buy the pro version which has no ads and overall it's a great gear application that I think you should download the link is in the description below and it's free Alright guys, so the second application on the list is as always a wallpaper application called Material Islands. This one is by far the simplest one I've ever come across. You have three sections, live wallpapers, static wallpapers and support. The live wallpaper has six different live wallpapers of material landscapes, a bunch of geometrically created, visually appealing backgrounds that look really good and are simplistic to like infinity now these wallpapers are really cool you can click on any one of them and hit on set wallpaper it's a completely offline application so you don't need internet access to download the wallpapers after you've downloaded the application there are different kinds of volcanoes and other stuff like that and even you can even donate to the developer who is really doing a great job with no ads and really it's just a great application and I think you should go ahead and check it out the live wallpaper changes the background depending on the time of the day and it's pretty cool so you can go ahead and check it out it's free in the Google Play Store link is in the description all right guys so the third application on the list is called daily yoga which is basically a fitness application to help you track your body fitness and keep you in top-notch shape now opening the application up we have two sections featured and all and then we have an array of different yoga programs which you can use and four different section called programs communities which I will get into. Now going into the all section, the first thing you can do is change the focus whether you're going to be health and fitness, therapy and also change the time duration as in 10 and 20 minutes depending upon the time of free time which you have got. Now there are a lot of you know yoga applications and programs such as stress relief, you know uh, for deep sleep, for losing weight and all of that good stuff. Now the second Second option in the taskbar below is called programs which has an array of different programs that you can check out. Then we have a community where uh, the developers as well as different people who use the application post inspirational posts to keep you on track and then you have your account which shows different types of account infos, your yoga music, leaderboard, you inviting friends and all of that good stuff. Now another good feature of this application is that it has Google Now integration. So after every workout the stats will be enabled or transferred to Google Now in case you want to use it with that. 
Now, another good thing with that is that I have downloaded this easy spinal movement thing and I'm just going to demonstrate how this thing works. So opening it up, you have a really good, well-defined HD quality video of how to do the exercise itself. It really helps us stay fit and you know, it, it is going to help you a lot more when you use it properly. You can also pause the video and check out the different stages, add different music and change or disable the voice guide and it's just the most versatile fitness application for all you guys who want to try out yoga and lose weight. I mean, it's really good, especially we have invented the Indians. And another good thing is that I have a coupon code for you guys, specially given to me by the developer. So go over and hit the coupon code Anubhav and you'll get a one month pro membership, which contains products more than $299. So that's pretty good. And that is pretty much it for this application. Go ahead, download it. It's free in the Google Play Store. The next application lets you do this. Next time on Replace, believe it or not. I'm kidding. So this application is called Smart Wake. What this application basically allows you to do is gives you that air control feature in iOS 10 that the people of iPhone 7 are so long cripping about. Now this is pretty cool. Now all in all, it's a air control sensor which uses the proximity sensor of your Android device and lets you do all of these good stuff. As you can see, waving your hand over your device to wake it up. You can even set up the different sensitivity items and there are different controls such as tilt controls and a lot more to be explored in this all in all free application which is really good. You can control the sensitivity as I said. There's a pro version out there but it's not really necessary as long as I've been using this application. You can start the app, you can go to help, has that as chat heads you know give a bottle of beer to the developer he's done a great job and play the application stop the application do whatever you want it makes your phone look cooler and much more futuristic go ahead it's free in the google play store link is in the description below guys moving on to the next application let's go all right guys so the fifth application on the list is called pineapple icon pack now this is a material design icon pack which is still in beta but is nonetheless a great icon pack now it has over 200 icons its very own set of high-end wallpapers and a wide variety of supported launchers i generally use nova launcher for all of my setups so finding a launcher supported or an icon pack which supports the launcher is not a big issue now the wallpapers are really high-end and really go really well with the wallpaper that was three times the word really was used in a sentence kill me please okay you have over 191 icons which you can select from there are different icon packs for each and every icon like there are five icon packs or five different icons for chrome and you can also request different icons by tapping in five icons now it's a really good different icon pack I would rather say because the applications are not really the same there are a lot of material design icon packs but there's not a single one of them which I've seen which is like this so go ahead check it out it's free in the Google Play Store it could have a few bugs here and there since it's still in beta and more icons are yet to be added but it's still a great attempt by the young developer and I think you guys should check it out it's free in the Google Play Store link is in the group yeah description hmm Hmm, hmm, can't speak. Alright guys, the next application is a reminders application called To Doodler. Now the developer of this application kicked me up on his email saying that whether I would like to do a free review for this and I was like, let me check out your application and to my surprise, it's probably the simplest application for reminders and notes I have ever come across. You click on the plus button to add a note, add the title, add in the note, select whether it's going to be important and add a reminder as well as a date and time to it and you're done. It's that simple. It has no different settings or any complicated stuff. It's as simplistic as it gets. You add the reminder, select the dates where you want it and click on the plus button to add it as a note or a reminder. Once you've added it, it's gonna come up in the menu of notes and there's even a plus version which you can check it out but the free version in my opinion is just fine. In the settings, you can change different show notes and dark mode, it has a dark mode in case you're, uh, you know, you like the dark side more. Wow, that came out wrong. So you can go ahead and check it out and you can delete different stuff and add it important and even edit the notes and it's it's pretty simple application as I said and it's free in the Google Play Store so link is in the description below go ahead and check it out it's free history is boring this app is not guys this is called Wern, which is basically an application done by Google Creator Labs to explore the Himalayas in the form of a small yeti now you are you take the role of a small yeti and you turn around as any third person game and it actually is a historical game that lets you learn different things as you progress along 
you click on the side button which is basically an options button and get this little yeti into the himalayas and you get different posts on stop as you can see which tells us different things the visuals are amazing and it's backed up by google earth so you can literally check around real life places where people have crossed and real life mountain peaks and their ranges and you can use jumps you can use sky suits you can use umbrellas to fly and it's a pretty good application which has basically taken a new take on teaching us new things about the mount everest in himalayas now as you can see i've just come across an umbrella and clicking on the option button well a yeti can fly on an umbrella don't take this game too literally it's actually pretty good and can help you learn a few thing or two in case you're just wasting around checking instagram feeds of other people dude chill it's a pretty cool application which you can check it out and it's free in the Google Play Store. It's, it's like around 200 megabytes, but it's really good in case you want to learn something and if you have a project on this, it can be much more interesting. And to take the control of a little Yeti in the Himalayas, what else do you want? Life is good. Go ahead, check it out. It's free in the Google Play Store. The seventh application on the list is called Slidebox. This application lets you organize all your unorganized screenshots of other people's conversations you have, different pictures people send you in any random WhatsApp groups into an organized neat folder which we all dream of but never really do it. Now it's really cool, it shows you all the unsorted pictures that you have. You swipe up to put them in the dustbin which is basically you can delete them from here or you can create new folders and add them in into each folders as well. Now you can create different folders and view the different albums that you have created. You can even add on the plus button and add existing album, create a new album or cancel the option. Now you can undo different photos that you have basically you know, removed or something like that and you can delete all the photos that you have put it into the trash bin. It's a really cool and simple application. Link is in the description, go ahead, check it out, it's free. So if you're a person who lives under the rock, this application can let you lift that rock. This is called Trends, which is is what it says. It gives you the different trends from the different countries. There's a little settings icon that lets you select all the countries that you're interested in. And once you're selected in the countries, you get different tabloids or categories of the things that are you know being trending in the particular countries. You can click on any particular article, go to the website, read the rest of it. It just helps you stay in touch with the latest trends in any genre in our world today, which is so fast that you can barely, like each trend lasts for like a single day. So go ahead, check it out. It's gonna help you be more social, so yeah. The last application on the list is called Status. This is a material design status bar that does not require root to change your status bar. Now, in case you guys haven't looked at my status bar recently, it's not the stock status bar. As you can see, I turned it off and I got the stock Samsung one, but when you turn it on, it turns into this really nice status bar, which I still remember back in the day, we used to install Cyanogen mod to do all of that stuff. But nowadays, courtesy of Android Lollipop and Marshmallow, you can do all of that without root. So this application is a single application which you can download from the Play Store and select different you know styles and circular icons for your battery where they're gonna be middle centered or not and it's really cool and you should definitely go ahead and check it out there are a lot of options as you can see you can change the type of battery icon whether it's gonna be a circular one a retro one a default one you know a lot of stuff it's basically cyanogen mod notification controls notification bar controls for free you can select the color of the status bar i've currently set it to app which means it's gonna copy the color into whichever app i go which is pretty nifty you can also go through the tutorial and the setup in case you forget about it and search the different application names to create you know modified or personalized settings for that singular application which another is another really nifty feature and yeah that is pretty much it in case you guys look at my status bar on the home screen it turns transparent with this black theme which you can even customize and it looks really cool with my setup right here now before you guys comment down below how did i theme my android device a video on that is coming so chill i'm a human being i need time to do that now the status bar also changes colors as you can see as you open up gmail it turns red and yeah that is pretty much it if you guys like this video you know what to do do leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this this is anubhav here signing out i'll catch you guys next time have a good day and bye yeah.